Hello everybody, welcome back to the next part of Siberia. The last video we got done reading that really, really long, long diary. And uh, we're ready to give Momo the drawing of the uh, mammoth so that he'll uh, help us. Um, your real life Siberia fact for this game, or this uh, video, is Siberia is home to the world's largest railway line. 5,772 miles long, which, you know, makes sense considering the train that we've already encountered in the game. So basically we're going to be going down this rail line in the game that uh, is there in the real Siberia, which is really cool. Alright, so let's give uh, Momo the picture. I don't know why he has to turn it turn around to put it away. <laughs> Thank you, Momo. Happy. Now follow Momo. Momo show his secret to Kate. Okay. Scurry it off somewhere. Get our little happy. Siberia music because we've progressed and done something to open up a new progression point. Just gonna head out. There he is. And he reminds me of like a little Freddy Krueger. <laughs> Bong! Like he just needs the glove. Keep it running. There's nothing out in this area to find, it's just a path to follow until you get to Momo, so don't worry about missing something. Just keep making your way up the path. a waterlogged boat here. Looks like an oar. It's a shame this boat's been left to rot. Now it's full of holes. Hmm. So she doesn't want to take it. There's Momo. This is some walk you've taken me on. I've got to say, though, the 
sure is mighty pretty. Momo come here often. Momo like make splash in water. Because of you, Momo, I look more like an explorer than a lawyer now. If Dan could see me, I don't think he'd like what he saw. Momo don't know Dan. Why have you brought me here? Mammoth doll in cave. Very important for hands, Anna said. Cave? What cave? Where? Momo not liar. Tell me, Momo. Do you really think that after all these years, Anna's brother is still alive? Anna always say hands go away. But hands come back, maybe. You are a strange one, Momo. I'm beginning to see why Anna Varelberg liked you. Momo, he... Mm, Momo look, look like Hans. Momo very proud. It must be fascinating to live in a village full of automatons. Automatons made by Hans. Difficult work. When Momo big, he do like Hans. Momo friend of automatons. Tell me, Momo, did you come here a lot with Anna? Mm-hmm. Anna like Momo. Anna like Hans. Anna on journey. Hmm? Momo, I've got to go now. But see you later, maybe. Okay, save. So you can uh, scroll through saves once you get past the four. I'm just going to keep making new ones. So I always have one to go back to from the previous time. So if you come over here, there's a path, but it's blocked by the water. Let me see the cave entrance over here. I can't go that way. So we need to lower this water level. So we come up here. There's the dam with the leather. Raise it up. Uh, it must be broken. I've got to get a helping hand here. Well, I think it's because you don't have a big enough ghetto booty, but that's just my opinion. Let's go get Momo and his uh, ability to help us. Momo. I've got something else I want to ask you. Momo listening. Let's go to help now. Can you help me, please? What do? Help me open the dam. Um, Momo strong. Strong, dude. Oops. <laughs> See you later, Mama. Thanks. That looks broken. Yeah, just a little bit. Do you want to pick this up? You can't put it back in there and use it, but you're going to use it in another spot. I'm just going to shove that right in my jacket. Now, if you recall, that or doing a little bit of back and forth here to uh, solve this puzzle. Not really a puzzle, but... So... I could use one of the oars from this boat as a lever, but how am I ever going to get a hold of it? This is where you need a piece of broken leather to help you get the ore closer to the shore. 
It rhymed. <laughs> That ore is all dirty and wet. And what did you expect it to be? Ugh. That ore is all... Mm -hmm. Really, she will pick it up. Hey, Momo, go pick up that piece of stuff. That ore. Momo, I've got something else I want to ask you. Momo listening. Help. I've moved the ore nearer. Be a good boy and carry it for me. Mum will say yes. I would have already have waded across that stream over there <laughs> to get to the cave. I wouldn't have gone to this much trouble. Excuse me. I'm gonna put it in your pocket. I'm not even actually properly gonna carry it. See, Momo's rocking like some Michael Jackson gloves or something there. He's got a little bit of protection on his hand. They look like a uh, motorcycle gloves. Alright, buddy. Momo, I've got something else I want to ask you. Momo listening. Help. Can you help me, please? What do? I need a hand opening the dam. Momo say yes. Momo strong. Okay. Doing the exact same thing again, except with a different item. <laughs> I'm gonna push the other piece out. To the other side. Okay. Alright. Don't break it. It's the only ore we got. That's. Momo, very strong. Thank you, Momo. Okay. Get our happy time music. Just gone. Make save. All right. Go to the cave. No flashlight, of course. No weapon of any kind. Just four cogs and an ink bottle, so. <laughs> a wish and a prayer that you're not gonna walk into a, a bear den. Okay. Got some mammoths uh, drawn on the wall here. Bong! Those are lions, not lions, cattle, maybe. That's cool. So we can go over to this quadrant. And then there's something down here. Ah, it's the mammoth toy. Okay, nothing else to do here. So now we have the mammoth toy doll. And I believe that little pedestal that was on the train. Um, I believe that is where you put the mammoth doll. Just from mem memory. I think that's all you can do in here. Let me double check that you can't go any further. It's probably the end. You can't go this way. And she doesn't have any comment on the wall. Surprising. Okay, so we got the mammoth doll, which was the whole objective of coming to this area. I think we're done here.
Onion. Hello? Kate? Is that you? Well, yeah, who did you think it was? Uh, I didn't recognize your voice, that's all. Must be the distance or something. So, spill the beans. What's your up like? You lucky lady, you. Honestly, I never get that kind of break. Well, so far all I've seen of Europe is this tiny village, and frankly, they're not very hospitable. Oh, the whole case is getting really complicated. There's this surprise air I've got to find. I know. I talked to Lynn who bumped into Joss and she had coffee with the head honcho this morning. He didn't sound at all happy. The client's meeting him tomorrow, and when Marston tells him that the sale's not even gone through yet, whoa, you're gonna be pleased you're on the other side of the ocean when that bomb goes off. Yeah, I get the picture. But so, how about yourself? What's up at work? We lost the Sarah Lou trial. I worked five months on that dumb case. I remember. So, for a bit of therapy, I went to Boomies. The sale started yesterday. Wow, lucky. It was absolutely crazy, Katie. Absolute mayhem. You know that blue silk top I wanted? Guess how much I got it for. I don't know. 250? 200? A hundred and forty dollars. <laughs> Just get yourself back here and I'll go down with you. <laughs> like it's my choice. Look, I gotta go. Call me soon, huh? I want a blow-by-blow -blow account of every moment of your great adventure. Get out of here. Look after yourself. You too. Yeah, I will. <laughs> it's like everybody she knows is annoying. <laughs> we haven't talked to the office. The mom. We haven't talked to Olivia at all yet. Dan's her boyfriend, her husband. Let's just try to talk to these people. You have reached Martin and Walmart Associates. We're sorry, but all our lines are busy. Please call back later. She works for the company and she can't even get it connected with anybody. Let's try to call Olivia. I think it's her friend. Or sister. Friend, probably. No. Dan. Dan Foster isn't around to take your call right now, so please leave your message after the tone. I think usually if she needs to call somebody, she'll do it automatically, so you don't have to, like, really ever make her do it manually. Unless you're prompted, but usually people are calling her, she's not calling them. Okay, so we need to go back to the factory again is our focal point. We still got more stuff to do in there. Got that canister that I, that grabber claw put into the factory for that, um, Automaton forklift to move. We need to do that. There's definitely other things I haven't done there yet. We do have the ink and the mammoth doll. I think this goes on the train. I don't remember where the cog wheels go at the moment. Except that we need six, I think it was. So we need two more. This is for using the notary approved stamp, but we don't have the paper yet that we need to use it on. And yeah, these are just notes. Like save. So we're just heading back to the factory area to do some other things. I really like this uh, screen. That's because it's got water in it. I got a thing for water in video games. I mean, water is mesmerizing in real life, you know. And they can uh, pretty much replicate the effect in video games. Even <laughs> that water looked pretty good for how old this game is. So we're going to be heading back this way. Yes, this guy is the bakery. Going 
back to the uh, factory over here. Check out the places we were at. See what we can do now. So this should lead back into the main factory where we can uh, use that forklift. I think I can get this going now, the water wheel. I just didn't do something. I'm going to check that room again. Let's actually go check it first. It's back here in the corner. Control room for the water wheel because it's on the other side of the wall here. So there's two levers. It looks like a key goes in there. This doesn't work. Doesn't look like that works. Can't put anything in here. This one I can't mess with. It's a chain. Okay, there's a chain. I don't think I saw this the first time around. I saw it, but I didn't interact with it. It's definitely doing something. Oh, like a big at automaton now. Okay, there we go. Now can we... There we go. So we got that spinning. Can we pull the lever now? Okay, fired something up. Can hear it running. Okay, so I think we're good here. So I probably could have done that earlier the first time I went in this room. I just didn't pull that little lever. They're not doing anything yet. Okay. Let's look at that canister that we uh, had the grabber hand bring in here. Dolly's going to bring it over there and put it in that. Give it some fuel, I think. I think it's what it is. This is a fuel canister that we're going to be picking up here. Look at <sighs> That's really heavy. I've got to get some help. All right, let's use him. Interestingly, he was just a uh, crank that you had to spin to power. He didn't need a Volberg key. Thanks, quick. Okay, he's dumping it in, connecting it. Yeah. And sending that fuel. I'm just now noticing the uh, place I missed before. Uh, I was thinking there's a room in here, <laughs> a very important room, and I have not found it yet, and I think it's over here. I saw it in that camera angle. It's right here, this door she's walking into. And we got somebody up here. He's moving. His head was moving. Click on this one here. It's a workshop, obviously. Okay, I can interact with this. Bring him down, I guess. Doesn't have any legs. Yeah. Oh, that's 
rough. So he's missing his legs here. Talk to him. Oh, many thanks indeed. I am most embarrassed for you to see me like this. I lack a certain completion. You see, nobody here found the time to polish off the finishing touches. Honestly, these days, we really have lost the art of good workmanship. Uh, yeah, maybe. With whom do I have the honor of speaking? Could you please state your identity, articulating clearly? My name is Kate. Kate Walker. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Model XZ2000. My common name is Oscar. I represent the technological zenith of this factory's production. I have been designed to drive a locomotive. A touch messy, but an essential task. Okay. Bong. So she added production now to talk about. Have you logged my first and last name? Perfectly. Kate Walker. Pleased to meet you. Me too, uh, Model XZ. 2000. Please, all my friends call me Oscar. This fad for cryptic names is such a bore. Could you imagine being called by your passport number? I suppose not, Mr. Oscar. Sir. Okay. Do you know where I could find the factory paperwork? I cannot reply to this question with precision. Try Anna Vorlberg's office above the machine floor. When you are complete and totally functional, can you help me gather information about Hans Morlberg? I'm afraid I can't, Kate Walker. Duty calls. Once I've recovered my feet, I have to see to my post on the train. It's waiting for its engineer. Okay, not missing his legs, missing his feet. Does the name Hans Morlberg mean something to you? Of course, he created me. But I'm sorry to say that I am yet to meet my maker. Have you any idea where he might be right now? No, Kate Walker, but I am sure I would experience great metaphysical satisfaction in his presence. I don't think Hans actually made him. He made the plans to create him. But Anna and or Anna's crew that worked here created him. But he's not finished, obviously. Just about there. I mean, I don't know why they stopped. It's like 99.9%. .9%, you, know. you said you were a train engineer? What train would that be? But Kate Walker, you have not seen the magnificent train waiting at the station? And where is that train going, Mr. Oscar? The train is going far away. Very, very far away indeed. Are you taking any passengers? My duty is to drive the train. Above all, to avoid delays. An engineer prides himself on punctuality. I will agree with you, though, Kate Walker, that a train without passengers is hardly a train at all. You haven't answered my question. For further details, please consult Anna Vorlberg. You are a very strange robot. Automaton, if you please. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to offend you. Automatons have an additional soul auxiliary, you understand? Uh, I think so. Has it been a long time since you last saw Anna Vorlberg? 72 hours, 32 minutes, and 20 seconds, to be precise. This regrettable absence explains the delay in my production process. Anna Vorlberg is dead, Mr. Oscar. What do you mean by the notion of death, Kate Walker? Broken. Disactivated. Worn out. Damaged. Unplugged. Oh, that really is most bothersome. I'd rather count it on finishing my production. <laughs> Damaged doesn't mean you're dead. Can I be of use to you? Why, you certainly can. I absolutely must have my feet. My hands are Model XZ-2003. My feet are Model XZ-2005 underscore B. Be careful. The Model XZ-2005 underscore A has evidenced some rather embarrassing performance failures. Like bugs? Automatons do not have bugs, Kate Walker. They simply display functional idiosyncrasies. I'm sorry, I didn't know. 
What do I have to do to get you a pair of feet? Use the assembly line to construct them. You will need a production punch card, on which is recorded my body design data. Here is my own punch card. There okay, I'll give it a go. Thank you, Kate Walker. That's the card we need for that machine. I took a quick screenshot of that text whenever he was talking about model numbers. I think we might need it. Okay, I think we've said everything there is to say. Oscar, I am delighted to have met you. See you again soon, I hope. Yes, Kate Walker. Okay, so we got a punch card or Oscar's card. Let's talk to him again. Hi, it's me again. Can I trouble you a second? In the situation I am in, nothing would give me greater pleasure. Submission. Do you know where I could find the factory paperwork? I cannot reply to this question with precision. Try Anna Vorlberg's office above the machine floor. Okay, help. As bizarre as it may seem, I have the impression you are the only person who can help me. I very much doubt it, Kate Walker. Why do you say that? What good am I without appendices, I ask you? Production. Oscar, I'm experiencing some problems with the general console. It looks like I need more than your card to operate it. To my knowledge, the console is in perfect working order. Okay, I guess I must have forgotten something. Most certainly, yes. I am counting on you, Kate Walker. Okay. Oscar, I am delighted to have met you. See you again soon, I hope. Yes, Kate Walker. Okay. Don't believe there's anything else to do here. Something that can be interacted with. Oh, she won't even go that way. She has to go around to get out. Okay. Trying to make her run. stop the video here guys I appreciate you watching and um, come back in the next part we'll see about using this in the machine um, still think we need to put this on the train uh, it'll all come together eventually uh, we're making progress we found Oscar uh, I want to show you that uh, real quick before we end the video it's this camera angle right here if you get closer when you're looking here you can't see it you don't see the door, but when you're in this angle over here, and you click the door, that's where you can go to it. Um, I missed it the first time I came over here, I just didn't see it. Obviously, uh, since we've been in there now, you can tell that that's a critical location. So thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.